Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, you join me at this scene of devastation. <laughs> That's all I can call it. I'm in the New Forest again, as you've probably guessed. And I've been having a good walk around this morning and I came across this stream and I thought, I'll follow that and see what, see what I can find. And I've come across this mess, really. It's not my usual style, not the usual scene that I'd capture, but um, you can probably guess what attracted me this little cascade waterfall type area and I thought I might be able to get a nice swirl on you know a, a, a long exposure I just thought I'd have a go and I've been I've been wandering around and trying to find the right composition I finally settled on this composition here next to this this old birch and then obviously surrounded by beach and I've got this fallen beach it's, it's obviously been fallen years and years but it hasn't quite fallen into the stream because it's quite a tall tree it's resting on the other bank so, and it's still growing ironically so it's causing quite a nice diversion in the stream we've got another fallen tree here this is obviously this trunk or this log been here years and years it's caused quite it's created quite a step quite a dam if you like obviously what's that's this is the main reason for causing this creating this waterfall type feature must have been here years um, so we've got we've got a big log here we've got the fallen birch going across the stream we've got another what must be a branch a branch off this birch falling into the stream and uh, it just makes a nice composition really with the swirl the swirl is going to be the center of of the composition obviously now it's quite windy and to get the swirl I've tried several different speeds exposures and I've settled on around two seconds f20 f22 depending on the light I've been waiting for the light to come in I've got the uh, variable polarizer on trying to take a bit of the sheen off the water's surface when that light does hit the water so quite a lot to uh, to get set up but um, and there's there's a bit of a breeze so what I've actually done is took I've taken three exposures so I've done a two second exposure to try and capture the swirl best I can and then I've took a sixth of a second exposure to try and to try and get these leaves nice and still so there's one set of leaves here another set on this fallen birch that's going across the stream so I'm going to try and merge the three together so that I've got some nice sharp leaves but I've kept the swirl in the water so <laughs> bit of a task but um, should be okay it's just a lovely area to be. I've been here about an hour, hour and a half, just trying to find the right composition, but you know what that water noise is like, it's so calming. And uh, I think afterwards I might uh, make a brew here. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, you don't find many streams in the forest. Well, I haven't, I haven't come across many yet anyway. Obviously I remember this one now. Obviously filling up, we've had a lot of rain lately. So uh, yeah, it's, it's created this nice cascade. So uh, yeah, jobs are good and quite happy with this. Something very different. It's a messy frame, <laughs> but uh, something a bit different and I've, I've hopefully captured that swirl. So I'll uh, pop it up now, guys. Hope you like it.
Jobs are good and cheers. What a beautiful spot to sit and have a coffee. The sound of that water is so soothing, it's lovely. I could sit here all day. But uh, anyway, talking coffees, I keep forgetting to say a massive thank you to Stephen Davis, a subscriber over in Texas, and Peter Lopeman. I think you're somewhere north of the UK, I think, Peter. Sorry, I can't remember where you are. But yeah, a massive thank you for buying me a coffee on my Kofi page and kickstarting off my savings fund for my Scotland trip. Um, for those of you that haven't seen, I've set up a, a Kofi page. It's in the, there's a link in the description below. Basically, for you guys, if you enjoy the content, and you want to see more and more improved content because some of my videos aren't that good um, there's a Kofi page where you can uh, nip onto it and buy me a coffee now I've set up this Kofi page to um, to hopefully get up to Scotland my plan is to have a week's trip up in Scotland and get some you know top quality content for the channel I mean as nice as the New Forest is, and, and you know the landscapes that I get in the New Forest, I'd really like to go somewhere you know, with some magnificent landscapes. And I thought Scotland would be a good starting point. So yeah, the plan is to get up to Scotland for a week, you know, explore the Nevis ranges. You know, I'd love to get the Three Sisters, whether or not there's snow on the ground or not. Hopefully I want to go you know, during the winter sometime. And yeah, so I've set up the Kofi page to um, hopefully raise some funds and, give you guys some top quality content you know I'll probably do three or four videos during my week's trip that's the plan anyway and get some you know some proper nice nice content for you guys to enjoy I mean I can't thank you enough anyway you guys for supporting the channel I mean like I said some of my videos aren't that special but I know that you know I really appreciate you sitting there and watching and uh, and supporting the channel in that way so yeah any help any support is much appreciated I know it's tough times at the minute we're all going through it but uh, yeah so uh, once again a massive thank you to Peter and Stephen for buying me a coffee and starting off the Scotland fund really is much appreciated can't thank you enough so yeah jobs are good and well the sun's still shining so uh, I'm, I've got another hour or two in the forest so uh, I'll get my coffee drunk and uh, see if we can find some more compositions thanks once again guys really appreciate your support Well, I've been wandering around for about another hour. As you've just seen, I followed the stream for another five, 10 minutes, but, but no joy, unfortunately, no nice composition. So made my way back into the forest, the main bit of the forest, and uh, found one or two nice compositions, but the sun's out now and it's creating such harsh shadows. It's really, really harsh light. So carried on walking and I've come across this track and found two lovely, gnarly looking beech trees with the branches that, that, that just fall nicely over this track and there's some lovely colour. I've got the uh, variable polarizer on again and I've got that flat out so it's, and I did manage to get one nice frame. The sun went behind some cloud for a couple of minutes. So quickly got some settings sorted out. Now, as you can hear, it's got quite breezy and it's, it's quite tricky to keep these leaves nice and still. So in order to get my shutter speed up to try and freeze these leaves, I've, I've had to put the ISO up to ISO 400. I wanted to keep the depth still along this track, so I've, I've kept it at F8. And by going up to ISO 400, I've managed to keep the shutter speed up to a 20th, which I think, looking on the back of the screen, the leaves look okay. So fingers crossed it'll be all right. And then no longer, no sooner as I'd done that, then the sun came out again and it's out to stay now, I think. So I managed one nice frame. I say I've got the polarizer on, so I've really emphasized them colors. And I've got a lovely red carpet of leaves. And uh, I say there was, no, there was no shadow. So some nice color on the beach, the beach bark itself, and some lovely yellow leaves that these beech trees have got. So uh, there is, a if I've got a complaint, a little bit of a moan, there is quite a bit of gap 
gapping in amongst the branches so this, this there is some some harsh light still coming through through the uh, the branches but but overall it's quite a nice frame because the canopy does open towards the end of the track so quite a nice a nice it leads your eye off into the distance so it's quite a nice frame 80 percent happy with it <laughs> but as i say i've been battling a bit with this sun so uh anyway settings wise i'll just go over them again so i'm at iso 400 f8 20th of a second hopefully them leaves have stayed <laughs> sharpish and uh, fingers crossed i'll be able to show you it now guys hope you like it Well, the sun is in, out, in, out. It really can't make its mind up, so I'm gonna head home now and call it a day. But uh, thoroughly enjoyable session in the forest again. So that second frame, I think I caught the, the autumn colors nicely. I'm just loving these red carpets of dead leaves at the minute. It's uh, really making the scene explode with some color. Beautiful, and these leaves are brilliant. So uh, try and get in the forest if I can every other day, if work allows. So uh, yeah, that's the plan anyway because it's changing day by day. It's amazing how quick it's changing. And uh, if we get any more strong winds, all these leaves are gonna blow off. So I've got to make the most of the next week or two. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think to them images in the comments below, guys, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's always great to hear from you. And once again, thanks ever so much for all your support. And thanks to Stephen and Peter for starting off the Scotland trip money box. But uh, if I can get to Scotland, that'd be absolutely fantastic and uh, get some proper top quality videos from up there in the Nevis ranges and that but uh, yeah that's the plan anyway so uh, yeah thanks for all your support guys if you could remember to give the video a thumbs up that'd be much appreciated best way of helping out the channel that and uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, yeah jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys take care catch up soon